You know that chocolate chip cookie recipe on the back of the chocolate chip bag that we've all been using for like ever? Well, that one's gone. It's out of here. I've got a better one. You're gonna need the traditional ingredients to make this recipe. The trick is the way you use those ingredients. Let me show you what you're gonna need. First, you're gonna need some chocolate chips. I personally like to use a mixture of both milk chocolate and semi-sweet chocolate. You can see the difference there. You're also gonna need white sugar and brown sugar. In this bowl, I have flour, baking soda, and salt. You're also gonna need egg, vanilla, and one stick of unsalted butter. Unsalted is the key when you're baking, so you can control the salt content. Now, most recipes have their butter at room temperature like I do. You can see, by the way, I'm giving it a little love in here, that it is nice and soft, but we're gonna take this butter to a whole other territory. All right, folks, we're gonna do what's called browning the butter. If you've never done this before, you need to learn, it's so easy, there's one step to it really, but it completely transforms the flavor of a chocolate chip cookie. So come on over here to the stove and I'm gonna show you how to get it done. Browning butter, right here is where it begins and ends. All you need is the butter you were gonna use anyway. You just take another step in the process. I have my pan preheated over medium heat and we're gonna let that butter melt down and it's gonna actually cook in itself until it becomes a nice, golden, caramelly brown, all right? And what that does is, it brings out this flavor in the butter. It's like a warm, nutty taste to the butter. I'm telling ya, take my word for it, just do this step. It just changes your cookies just enough that they taste better than the ones you've been eating or making all these years. All right, so we're gonna get this nice and browned and ready to go, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like once it's browned, so you can then use that as a guideline to how your brown butter should look. We just finished browning the butter, and I'm just gonna let it cool off a little bit before we mix it in with our other ingredients, but I just wanna show you what it looks like. All right, can you see that there? Get up a little closer, and you can see that it's like a, it's kind of caramelized, right? And it's just a, like a brownish color, hence the name brown butter, right? So that's where the flavor factor in these chocolate chip cookies goes from here to like here, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's get to mixing. We're gonna start out this recipe by making sure our sugars are well combined, our brown sugar and our white sugar, and then we'll go on to the next step. So in the mixer, these go, all right. There's that, I'm just gonna let those go in the mixer for just a few seconds and then we'll add in the butter. Butter is ready to go in. There it is. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna melt the sugars cause it's still warm, but it's not so hot that it's gonna cook the eggs when we throw those in. So I'm gonna let the mixer go on that one and then to the next step we go. We're gonna throw in our egg and our vanilla. All right, traditional ingredients in any chocolate chip cookie recipe. Like I said, it's just the way you handle those ingredients that makes all the difference. We're gonna give this a whirl in the mixer and then two more steps to go and then we're in bake land, which is my favorite place to be. I'm telling you. Just using my whisk to make sure those are well incorporated before we put those in the bowl. We're gonna open up the mixer, pour that in, and at this point, we're gonna mix this until it is just mixed. The batter's gonna get a little thicker. We're gonna let it mix for about 20 seconds, give the bowl a quick scrape, and then let it go one more time. And then we're gonna add the key ingredient in any chocolate chip cookie recipe, which is my favorite, the chocolate chips. Batter is done and ready to go, and now we're on to the chocolate chips. Look at the batter now. Remember, this is what yours is gonna look like, okay? And you can just take your hands and kind of run them through if there's anything dry left on the bottom, and that'll get your dough right to where it needs to be. All right, next step, 
chocolate chips. I'm not gonna mix these in with the mixer because the dough is kind of a very thick dough. So I'm just gonna throw them in there, just like this. And I'm just gonna gently roll the dough around in the bowl to get those chocolate chips well incorporated. And then we'll be ready to put them on our cookie sheet. This is like one of my best friends in the kitchen. If you don't have one, you gotta get one because there's so much, so much of a help in the kitchen and they do so much more than scoop ice cream. Anyway, but I digress as usual. All right, so we're gonna scoop this out of here. I like to make my chocolate chip cookies pretty large. All right, so I'm gonna scoop them on there just like this. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you a little secret to baking cookies. Once you get them on this cookie sheet, you can go ahead and toss them in the oven and go on to that next step if you want. But what helps this cookie in this recipe to come out like the cookies in the bakery do is you just calm, your, calm yourself down. All right, don't be so excited to get to those cookies like we all usually are. Take a minute, pop them in the refrigerator for about an hour or two. If you're really desperate, put them in the freezer for about 15 minutes and let this dough kind of rest and let all those ingredients marry together. Then you go on to your baking process. I'll put all those directions in the recipe so you can read over it again just to make sure you have it right. But once you get them on the cookie sheet, just like this, use your hand just like this and gently press it down, all right? Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the rest of these cookies. And then we're gonna bake them up, we're gonna pop them in the fridge, get them all baked and ready to go, and then you can see the final product. Cookies are done, fresh from the oven. We've let them cool off for about 20 to 30 minutes. Now, what we did with this, same technique we used in another video that we did for snickerdoodles is you get, take them out of the oven, just when the center looks just about done, let them sit on the cookie sheet for another three to four minutes, then transfer them over to your cooling rack where they can finish cooling. I'm telling you, they're gonna be perfect. Look at this. This is a chewy cookie if I, oh, check out. Check that, this, this right there. When I was a little girl, my sister and I used to try to get our chocolate chips to do that. We had better things to do, but you know, that was just fun. Look at that. That is a cookie, all right? It's perfect. It has the crispiness on the outside, the center. Oh, look at that. Perfection. Oh, I need, why don't I have milk? I could dunk them in milk. And if I didn't put these away, I could probably take care of the whole batch. Speaking of that, that's why I like this recipe so much because it makes, depending on how large you make them, between nine and 12 cookies. Thank God it's not like 24 or 36 because I'd be in trouble. So anyway, try these out. They're absolutely delicious. They're absolutely perfect. You are gonna love them. And let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I wanna know. Chocolate chip cookies. Thanks for checking in with me today. I'll see you next time.